Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm talking about guest bathroom must-haves. In the past, I've done a video about guest bedroom must-haves, which I will throw in a card above if you're interested in watching it, where I just talk about 23 different things that I think are really nice for overnight house guests to have in the bedroom that you have them staying in, um, which most people call a guest room, so that's that. Anyway, so today we're gonna talk about guest bathroom must-haves, the things that I think are really important in a guest bathroom to make your guests feel comfortable. We have a lot of overnight house guests, usually at least a set a month. Oftentimes we have more than that. We just, we host a lot of people a lot of the year. And so we're really used to having people. And I think that we've kind of perfected for us what to have in our guest bathroom and how to set it up so that it is the most effective, functional, clean, comfortable space for our guests. So first of all, I'm just gonna put in here a pan between the guest bedroom and the guest bathroom because they're not linked, they're not attached, it's not an ensuite, um, but they are very close. So it's just, there's like a little dedicated hallway for our spare bedrooms and the guest bedroom is right there and then you just walk a couple of paces away right into the guest bathroom. So let's just dive right in with the different things that I think are really important in a guest bathroom. So the first thing, of course, is that it is clean. None of this other stuff matters if your bathroom's not clean. I think it is something that makes guests feel really welcome and really just comfortable when they go to someone's house and they're staying there overnight and it's really clean. So I definitely recommend scrubbing down the shower, scrubbing down the tub, cleaning up the sink, you know, of course cleaning the toilet, giving the floors a quick wash, taking out the trash, all the mirrors, wiping down the mirrors, all of those kinds of things um, I really think are really important and they are the most important of all. If you don't have time to do anything else and you have an overnight house guest coming, just make sure that the bathroom is clean. I think when the space is clean and it feels like it's been sanitized, I think that, that just will carry you really, really far. So that's my first guest room must have is to have a clean space. My second must have is to have hand soap in the bathroom. This is funny, I've been to people's houses before who I don't know if because they don't use their guest bathroom themselves since it's not a main bathroom for their family, there's no hand soap. So I prefer liquid hand soap, it just feels cleaner to me than bar soap, but whichever you prefer and whichever you think your guests would prefer, I think having at least a full bottle of hand soap in the bathroom is important, but I'll talk later about having some refills available as well. The next three things are clean bath towels, clean hand towels, and a clean bath mat. All three of those things I think are critical to having a good experience when you're staying overnight in someone else's home. And so, of course, clean bath towels, you know, those are the things, the bath towels that people use after they take a bath or a shower. The hand towels are usually what people use to dry their hands off after they've used the restroom and washed their hands. And then a bath mat is what people typically put on the floor so that when they get out of the shower or the bath, their wet body and wet feet don't drip all over the floor. So those three things I think are pretty important, you know, to have in your guest bathroom. We do keep a set of all that stuff in the bathroom and then we also keep it one in the bedroom. Um, I just think some people like having extra towels and so we just make sure that we have lots of towels. And the funny thing is that in our house with the layout, our linen closet is actually right in between the bathroom, the guest bathroom and the guest bedroom. So we have like plenty of towels for people, but I always like when I'm staying at someone's home and there is more than one towel per person. So we make sure that we have an abundance of clean towels around. My next must have is kind of a funny one and it is instructions. And so let me elaborate on this. Sometimes people's showers or their baths or however, whatever the situation is are really challenging to use. I've definitely been to a few houses where I've like been undressed, ready to get in the shower, and I've had to put a towel or a robe on and go out to the homeowner and ask, how do I turn your shower on? I can't figure it out. So if you have a shower that is particularly difficult to turn on, like if it has some special element to it or something like that, I recommend just leaving like maybe a little laminated card somewhere um, and like putting it on the back of the, the bathroom cabinet or something. And then when your guests arrive, telling them the instructions to turn the shower on or just of course just showing them um, but I think that's a nice thing to have because there's nothing more uncomfortable than getting ready to jump in the shower and not being able to turn it on and you're like naked and you know it's just I've definitely had that happen before where I've had to like get redressed or put a robe on or something and go figure out how to get this shower to turn on. In our guest bathroom we have um, our toilet in there is funny like if you just click the flusher down on the toilet it doesn't 
it doesn't flush correctly, you have to hold it. And so we have this um, white plastic label that's on the top. And I love that it's white plastic because I sanitize it along with the rest of the toilet. But it just says hold down for five seconds to flush. And that way people know that they didn't break our toilet or anything like that. You just have to hold it down for the water to come through. And so I don't know. I think that having those little instructions, it will take you a couple of minutes, but I think it makes guests feel a lot more comfortable when they're not worried that they're breaking your toilet or they can't figure out your shower and all that kind of stuff. My next must have is a clear countertop as much as you can. You'll see in our guest bathroom that our countertop is very small and if we were to ever build our own home or if we were ever to renovate that bathroom, I would love to try to figure out a way for our guests to have more counter space because it is challenging when you're staying somewhere and there's not a lot of place if you're a woman you're trying to put on makeup or if you, you know whatever like even contact solution things like that so my recommendation is to have the counter as clear as possible and have it so that it's quite empty it's nice and clean and clear um, you don't want to have like tchotchkes and little picture frames and just little figurines and things in the bathroom where people are worried they're going to knock them over, they're going to fall in the sink, in the toilet, in the trash. I would say that it's better to err on the side of having less, um, similar to what I mentioned in my guest bedroom must have video, but that's a personal opinion. That's not necessarily the rule, although I would think that most house guests would probably agree that having a little bit more of a clear countertop is better. My next guest bathroom must have is extra toilet paper within reach. So if someone is using the restroom and they realize that you, there's no toilet paper in that bathroom or they've used the rest of it or another family member or whatever the situation is, it is best to have toilet paper within quick reach. So we keep, we actually have like an old, rusted basically um, like loaf pan that sits on the back of our toilet. It's a perfect size for the back of the toilet and we have um, an extra spare roll of toilet paper in it. And I think that that just, when people walk into the bathroom, they know immediately that if there's not any more toilet paper left, they can go and grab that sitting right behind them. It's great. Similarly, I think it's nice to have some kind of scent spray within reach. We have a bottle of what's called poo-pourri and basically it's, um, you don't spray it in the air, you actually spray it in the toilet, but basically it's just a scented spray and it helps control the odor of a bathroom. And I think that people feel a lot more comfortable using that. I've actually had a few guests comment on how nice it is, how much they like it, things like that. Just because when you're staying in someone's house, you wanna feel as comfortable as possible. And I think having some kind of scent spray available within reach that they don't have to go digging around, it's easy to find. I think that's a really nice thing to do for your guests. Along the same lines, I like to have basic cleaning supplies available for my guests. Now, of course, I deep clean and sanitize the bathroom before my guests arrive and then after they leave, I'll do the same thing and I don't never expect them to clean the bathroom. But I know that as a guest, when I'm staying in someone else's house, I like the ability to, before I leave, wipe down the countertops, give the toilet a quick clean, just things like that. It just makes me feel better. I feel like I'm kind of doing my part to say thank you for the people who have been hosting me. And so under my sink, I have a little caddy that just has a box, um, or like a tube of Clorox wipes, which are just those like pre-moistened antibacterial wipes. And then I have our toilet, you know, bowl cleaner as well in that little basket. And that way it's easy for them to grab if they feel so inclined, but it's like I said, it's definitely not necessary. I just think it's nice to have that. I, we just had house guests leave a few days ago and um, I noticed that they totally used those things before they left because I just think it makes some people feel more comfortable. Along the same lines of comfort and just making sure that you have extra things, I think having extra hand soap and extra toilet paper under the sink again, or anywhere in the bathroom for us, it's under the sink in another little caddy. Um, we have some rolls of extra toilet paper in addition to the one that's on the back of the toilet as well as um, some extra hand soap. Again, it's just a comfort thing. I think sometimes you know, we, we overlook these things. And then when you stay in someone else's house, you're like, I really wish I wasn't, you know, I, I like, for example, I've stayed at someone's house before where they didn't have any more hand soap. And I just felt weird about asking them, like, do you have more hand soap? So I was just like adding water to the hand soap, you know, and making like water to, and I was completely fine. But I just thought in that moment, I was like, I'm going to pop some extra hand soap under my guest bathroom sink, just so that it's there if it's needed. The last thing I keep under my sink in the third caddy, so I have that cleaning supplies caddy, the extra toilet paper and hand soap caddy, and then the final one is just extra extras. So I wrote down like I have shampoo, conditioner, body wash, lotion, face wash, face lotion, 
nail clippers, a hair dryer, toothbrushes, toothpaste, just like little things like that. If you travel a lot or you know someone who does, just ask them to bring home some of those travel toiletries and you can pop those into your little guest bathroom, you know, basket or drawer or caddy or however you're doing it. I think it's nice to have those things. Sometimes people forget things like that and they're, you know, they don't have any more toothpaste and you've already gone to bed or you're not up yet or whatever. I just think it's nice to have that little basket so that people can help themselves to whatever they need. The next two items on my list are both related to unpacking. So the first one is that I think it's really nice to have a place for people to unpack under the sink or however yours is set up. So like for us, we have just the, the little vanity and there's that big cabinet under and I have those three caddies in the back and I tuck them all the way into the back and they're nice and neat and organized. And then that whole front area is great for people to be able to unpack. So they can bring their dab kits, their toiletry bags, their makeup cases, any hair tools or brushes or whatever. And they can put that all in that front area and it's nice and deep and large and people can go ahead and unpack there. Along the same lines, I think it's really nice and important in the shower that you clean it out. So if you if it's a bathroom that you use with some kind of frequency and you have, you know, all these shampoos and all this stuff, you know, all over the place in the shower, unless you know that your guests will use those products, I think it's nice to at least clear off one little shelf or one little section so that, you know, if you're taking a shower somewhere, you need a place to put all your products. So we don't use the, our guest bathroom at all. And so um, to like take a shower, we, we only use it to go to the restroom. So because of that, what we do is we put the, um, we have like a hanging organizer in our shower that's completely empty and that way our guests can unpack there. The last two things are pretty self-explanatory. The, the next one is a trash can with a liner for obvious reasons. It's just nice to have a clean trash can that has a trash bag liner in it in a guest bathroom. And the one after that is a hook on the back of the door so that people can hang up robes, they can hang up their pajamas, their towels, and things like that. My very last thing on this list is a bonus and that is a candle. I love having a candle lit when my guests arrive and letting them know that if they want to use it, they can. And I've definitely had some guests take a bath or a shower and light the candle and just be able to relax that way. So those are my guest bathroom must-haves. I hope you enjoyed this little video. Would love to hear what your guest bathroom must-haves are. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.